Hi, hi, folks. Yep, that's right. We're back. It's time for another 15 minutes of music this Friday morning. And we're getting really confident at this stuff now. Yeah. The rhythm cards, all the bits and pieces. Yeah, we know what's going on with all of those. So what I'd like to do is we'll have a quick blast through. Some of our rhythm cards, remember what we're doing. We're clapping the crotchets. No, we're not. I'll start again when I've kind of not lost the plot. What we're doing with the crotchets? Yeah. We're jumping them. We're clapping the quavers. And we're doing the semi-quavers, the quarter callers, on your legs. And I know last week I gave you guys a quick, quick little sneak into what that drum kit does over there. And we're going to try again this week, maybe trying to put some of these rhythms together as to how you would play it on a drum kit using the different parts of the kit. Anyway, here we go, guys. So after four, for all the different cards, remember, clap the quavers, jump the crotchets, semi-quaver bits on your legs, on your knees. Different cards, got a few of them. I'm just going to pick different ones up, and here we go. After four, hope you're on your feet ready. Jump on them. Two, three, four. Says your T, 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 T. Yep, get you warmed up. Ready for the big match this weekend, because you need to get your exercise in for that, don't you? There's that T, 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 dead easy. One, two, three, change your copy, 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 copy. Yep, those quavers. And each quaver, each coffee, sorry, is made up of two quavers, isn't it? You need to get your copy, 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 copy. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going, put them together. In one, two, three, four, jump the T, copy, T, 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 that's great. One, two, three, change, T, copy, copy, T, T, copy. T, T, copy, copy, T, keep it going, T, copy, copy, T, T, copy, copy, T, yep, and as you can hear there, we're pushing the tempo a bit quicker, copy, copy, T, T, copy, copy, T, and the trick is always being able to remember and keep a hold of where beat one is, one, two, three, Four, great, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Next one in, next one in. Ready? One, two, three, four. So, cut a colour, copy, T, T, 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 and one, two, three, do it. Copy, cut a colour, copy, jump it. Copy, cover colour, copy, jump it. Copy, cover colour, copy, T. Copy, cover colour, copy, T. Clap it, knees, clap it, jump it. Copy, cover colour, copy, T. And four, three, two, one, stop there. Great, cool. Dead easy, spot on. We remember all those bits and pieces. Let me just shuggy some of these cards round for the ones that I need. And one of the ones just to. Another quick recap, what was going on with that one there where there's one, two, three little ones together? Yeah, that was that lemonade. So that one will be lemonade copy T T. And again, because the two semi-quavers there and the one quaver at the end are quite fast, it was easy to do them on your legs. Just try it all. Lemonade copy T T. Not yet. Let me count you in. So one, two, three, four. Lemonade coffee tea, tea, lemonade coffee tea, tea, lemonade coffee tea, tea, lemonade coffee and stop. Dead easy. Great, 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 great. Cool. Right. Now to put these bits and pieces on our drum kit. But the trick was with the drum kit, it was using the different parts of the drum kit, but also bringing our hands and feet into it. So the drums and cymbal bits and pieces were all being played with your hands and the pedals on the bottom were being played with your feet. Now, last week I gave you guys a quick little introduction 
and it was re it's the drum part of a really, really famous rock song that I'm sure you guys all remember from last week. We've got the coffees on the first beat, on the bass drum, which is the pedal with my right foot. We've then got the crotchet beat, the T, on the snare drum with your stick. Coffee on the bass drum, T on the snare drum. That's that one on the, on the drum kit here that's got the white skin on. Now normally your snare drum, with this you'd be playing it, with your left hand with a stick in your left hand to get pop. But I'm not going to worry about using the drum machine keeping the beat. I think we could keep that going ourselves in a minute. But the idea is bass drum, right foot on beat one, snare drum, left hand on beat two, bass drum, right foot on beat three, snare drum, left hand on beat four. And again, it doesn't really matter what the rhythms are, there's loads of them we can use. So there's the coffee still in the same place, but beat two, what's beat two got on it? What was that one? Yeah, that was the Coca-Cola. Now, when we come to play this, you're going to be using two hands for that Coca-Cola. But the fact is, I haven't got three hands. I can't keep a hold of that and play it at the same time with both hands. But if I play this one... Yeah, you got coffee, 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 coffee. Let me grab another one. So the trick is for us to try and put all of these different ones together using our hands and feet. We could get quite flashy and try to put Yeah, I'm putting the lemonade on that bass drum with my right foot. Lemonade, coffee. But again, it's swapping around. Beat one on the bass drum, beat two on the snare drum, beat three on the bass drum, beat four on the snare drum. Feet, hands, feet, hands. And this is how we're gonna do it. Let me just plunk that snare out of the way. Turn your laptop around. Now, I've got to play this. I'm using a hand drum. It's called a djembe. One of our African drummers. Again, guys, some of you who've seen me coming at the school, doing some of these bits and pieces in school, you'll have seen some of these drums. But you don't have to have a drum at home. If you haven't got a drum, it doesn't matter. You can use absolutely anything on your hands. Yeah, you can be sat at the table, hands on the table. Now, some guys, some you guys in school have actually been trying this with your hands on the table and your feet on the floor. So let's have a go at our very first one. And I hope you can hear it on the video. But basically, I want you to do a coffee with your right foot on the floor. So after four, let's get a coffee right foot on the floor, one, two, three, four, two, three, and again, that's it, so stamp that foot on the floor to get that coffee, and coffee, two, three, four, coffee, yep, and dead easy, the T with your left hand on whatever you've got, if you've got a drum, great, left hand on the drum to do that crotchet beat, that T, if you're on a table, use the table, if you're using a chair, just anything that you can hit with your hand to get that beat number two, that T. Yes, yeah, so after four, let's just do that one crotchet beat, that one T, all together. One, two, three, four, three, with your left hand. Yep, yeah, one, two, three, four, three. Put the coffee in front of it, so we're going to get coffee with your foot, T with your hand. Yep. Yeah. So after four, coffee, T. Just the coffee, T. One. Two, three, four, coffee. And again, two, three, four, coffee. Brilliant. This is where I'll bring in my little bit of machinery again. Just gonna pull the tempo down just a little bit. So listening to the pulse of that rhythm. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Counting the numbers of the beat. Two, three, four, one. Two, three, four. We're going to do a coffee tea for two beats, then leave a gap for two beats to get that coffee tea. So, one, two, three, four, coffee tea. Three, four, coffee tea. Three, foot in 
ground. Copy, two, three, four. Copy, two. Yeah, dead easy. Right, the whole thing, and the trick is to keep that coffee tea, those two quavers and a crotch, you're going over and over again, but stick them with the speed of that djembe rhythm. It's just going to keep going all the time with us. One, two, three, four. With copy, two. Dead easy, brilliant. Let's mix it up with another one. Coffee on your foot, coffee on your hand, coffee on your foot, coffee on your hand. So we'll get the first coffee. So after four, do your right foot on the floor with the coffee. One, two, three, four. Yeah, and a coffee on your hand on the drum or the table, whatever you're using. One, two, three, four. Brilliant. Then beat number three. Coffee on your right foot on the floor. One, two, Three, four, yep. Yeah. And at the end, that crotch should beat that T with your left hand at the end. To put the whole thing together, it's going to sound like this. Coffee, 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 T in one, two, three with your foot with coffee, coffee, T. Right foot, left hand, right foot, left hand. Coffee, 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 T. Perfect. Oh, look at that. I was going at the same tempo as well. So after four, get that one going, let's keep it going. Ready in one, two, three, right foot. So copy, 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 keep it going, keep it going. Copy, 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 Other one, two, three, change. Copy, 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 right foot. sight read it, which means the music's in front of you, you haven't got time to practice it, we're just going to do it. After four, in one, two, three, change, so it's copy, D, T, D, right foot, left hand, right foot, left hand, right foot, left hand, right foot, left hand, copy, D, T, D, copy, D, T, D, new one, one, two, three, change, yeah. actually using the right foot part so that's that bass drum pedal that's on your right foot that big drum that's on the floor and your left hand yes if it was on a drum kit you'd have a stick in your left hand and you'd be hitting that snare drum with the stick 
But for next week, for our last session, I think we're going to try and add those lemonades and those Coca-Colas that are made up of your semi-quavers and your semi-quavers and your quavers together into that as well to get it even more complicated. And then actually, to add all of the drum kit parts to it, while your right foot's doing the bass drum stuff with your right foot, while your left hand's doing your left hand stuff, you then try and add those, the coffees, all at the same time with your right hand on one of those cymbals. It doesn't have to be one of the cymbals, it can be any of the drums, but it's getting all those hands and feet working together. It's getting a little bit complicated, isn't it, guys? But I think it's good stuff. Thank you so much once again. I've been Mr. Wind with Durham Music for another one of your 15 minutes of music on this Friday morning. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. And fingers crossed for this weekend, eh? Do you think it's going to come home? We shall see. Thanks a lot, guys.